start in Hong Kong for more on this. And, and, you know, this was, I guess, by Chinese standards, this was a fairly limited air invasion, but still it's enough to cause concern among Taiwan officials and also American officials, especially given the timing. Uh, Taiwan, uh, tension between Taiwan and China and the U.S., it continues to rise. Look, we have this U.S. bipartisan congressional delegation in Taiwan for an unannounced three-day visit. It's led by the U.S. Senator Tammy Duckworth. They have already met with the Taiwan president, Tsai Ing-wen. They met this morning, and as expected, they discussed economic cooperation trade as well as regional security concerns. Um, the president of Taiwan, Tsai Ing-wen, thanked Senator Duckworth for America's donation of COVID-19 vaccines during the pandemic, as well as America's support on security. I want you to listen to this from the Taiwan president. We look forward to closer and deeper Taiwan-U.S. cooperation on matters of regional security. At the same time, to address the challenges of the post-pandemic era, Taiwan and the U.S have reviewed and assessed the many facets of our trade cooperation. Now, Senator Tammy Duckworth said that this visit will not be the last one. In fact, she suggested that this should be an annual visit. In addition to that, she added that Taiwan is not alone. Already, mainland China, Beijing, is acting angrily to this unannounced bipartisan congressional visit. We got this statement from um, the spokesperson of China's embassy in the United States, making the following remarks. We urge the U.S. side to earnestly abide by the One China policy, etc., to handle Taiwan-related issues in a cautious and proper way, stop all forms of official interactions with Taiwan, and avoid sending wrong signals to the Taiwan Independent Separatist Forces. They also said that they firmly oppose this visit and it gravely violates the One China policy. Now, look, this visit, it comes shortly after U.S. President Joe Biden's visit to the region, in which he said that, yes, the United States would militarily intervene if China would attempt to try to take Taiwan, something that he said before, something that the White House had had to downplay again. Tension is rising. In fact, on Monday, you had, according to the Taiwan Defense Ministry, 30 Chinese warplanes make incursions in Taiwan's air defense zone. This is a very worrying development, according to one minister of parliament in Taiwan. On Twitter, this is what we heard from Wang Tingyu. He says this, the more China does this, the sooner we become used to it. And it will become increasingly difficult to determine if China is just doing their routine exercises or are they preparing to launch an attack on Taiwan? This is a very worrying trend, unquote. Now, Taiwan's president has vowed to maintain peace while adding that she will defend Taiwan if attacked, if invaded. China, of course, claims Taiwan as its own territory, which could be taken by force if necessary. John. Christy, thank you. Christy Lustow, live in Hong Kong. We appreciate that.